Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As a native of Decatur, Georgia, I can certainly appreciate our next guest. Uh, he's the ATL bread rapper, best known for his like, baby, baby, baby. Oh, oh, I'll work it on me. me. Then there's the legendary DJ and radio personality who has kept the ATL and the world turned for decades. And finally, there's the guy who's bringing their world together in the annual and highly anticipated One Music Fest. My friend is here, yes. right here, here in the ATL. Please welcome Kilo Ali, DJ Nabs, and Jay Carter. Yes! Hey, to be right, here. Right, we brought the yeah. ATL down to the circle. Boy, we are so excited. What's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. This is, you know, this is a full circle moment for yeah, us all. Yeah, this yeah. is a lot. This is a good thing. It's yeah. a good yeah. thing, but I'm not gonna get too excited because we got we have business to take care I'll of. Talk. I'm gonna start with you, Jay Carter. Uh, One Music Fest has grown exponentially over the years. What makes this particular festival so different? I'm gonna read a quote that you said. Our, our tagline from day one was unity through music. Mm. Why That's is good. One Music Fest mm. so important? Well, I think the, um, well, one of the things that I was seeing was a, um, a lack of, of programming mm -hmm. as far as urban music on a festival setting. Okay. So, I mean, going to festival to festivals um, from a Bonnaroo or Lollapalooza. Right. Uh, I mean, you would see hip hop, you know, have a presence. They, they would have a presence on the stage, but the audience didn't look like me. Yeah, right? okay. And, um, and then when I started thinking about how we listen to music, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you'll have everything from Kilo Ali to Sade in your playlist. Right. Absolutely. To, to, to Aerosmith to whomever, right. right? So why couldn't we, the way we listen to music, right, by ourselves or amongst our friends, why couldn't we have a, a festival or cultural kind of gathering, mm -hmm. you know, where we can celebrate these artists, celebrate the music, bring it all together, yes. make it generational? Um, and I just couldn't find it. So yeah. I said, instead of searching for it, why don't, why don't I just create it? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's right. That's, that's how you do it. That, how about it? Yeah. You be the change right. you want to see. Absolutely. Right. That's how it goes. Yes. Listen, you, Atlanta has been such a collaborative city when it comes down to music. Mm -hmm. um, why do you feel that it's been very important for artists to work together in terms of pushing the sound of Atlanta? Mm. Um, I'll start. Yeah. I think, first of all, Atlanta is... Uh, small community, first of all, and especially the way it grew from the late 80s through the 90s and obviously where it is now. A lot of people know each other yes. and really deal with each other outside of music. So by the time you go to the studio and have fun creating music, then, you know, it just becomes an organic thing mm -hmm. and everything grew. The club scene grew, the radio stations, all the artists, yeah. the labels, you know, it all grew. And before we knew it, we were here. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Kilo? What, you, I mean, you, you are one of the authors of this sound. Yes, awesome. And now to be, you know, we have an, an entire crunk ATL set mm -hmm. um, at One Music Fest. How important is it for you, for people to understand the origin of this sound? Man, the sound was, you know, as, as for those who don't know, because a lot of you don't know me, I'm the guru of Atlanta, Kilo Ali, clothing all the means power. Yes. I was like the sixth rapper out of Atlanta, so that's back when it was in the wow. single numbers. Yes, So, yes. you know, it's been like 80,000 professional releases. <laughs> since <laughs> <now>. <laughs> it's like a caveman, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. sort of, but uh, people appreciate me and everybody came from us. They went to school with Kilo, they came from school, colleges mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. so they actually run Atlanta now. They're sitting in high places and they know how to party. We brought that to them. Yeah. So the new generation of kids that are doing stuff now, I, I applaud them, you know what I'm saying? Anything to be protected, it got to be protected by the youth. Yeah, so yeah. they're doing a great job as soldiers. The tribe has grown. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of strong, because when I came in, New York was more yeah. the, yeah. The, the, the sound, mm -hmm. and then it went to L.A. When we took it, we have, we ran Superior for like years mm -hmm. now, you feel me? We ran Supreme. Still running. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I mean, I'm running Supreme for yeah. years now. But mm -hmm. to see people enjoy the sound that everybody was like, so when you hear people, they're like, that sound like Kilo. Yeah. And somebody like, Kilo, mm -hmm. they sound like you are like, well, we come from the same place. We, yes. we're, we're Southern people, yeah. you know. Yeah. We, we live in the same house, your grandma's house. Yeah. And you go on the side pool, you're going to be on the side pool. Right, right. You make a good record, that's where you at. Yeah. So I never say that anybody take from me or do anything for me, because now I'm Al Green now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but I'm enjoying yeah, it. Right, I love it. I, I am enjoying seeing life from every side. Yes. You know, I'm a philosopher of life, so I've seen life from seven years old and seen rappers do that thing, and I've seen it from 20 years old, mm. 30 years old. Now I'm at 45 years old yeah. now, and I'm having a great time knowing that we built a pathway yes. where young men can eat Amen. and feed their children yeah. and on, keep Kilo. something going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I got on my work suit yeah. for that. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> did a lot. Of, I did a lot of mechanics in this right, thing. Right, <laughs> right. So I'm proud of it, but you know, the, the, the glory belongs to the team of effort of Atlanta people that no came doubt. together and yeah. burst through. No Absolutely. Doubt. And we're still doing it. Yes. Speaking of the team uh, here in Atlanta, you, you guys created the Croc Sound, and now it's evolved to the trap music. How do you feel about that? Me, I, it's, it's always been there, yeah. and you know, it's just the way they, you know, exposed it. You know yeah. what I mean? The trap sound is just teaching the officers how mm -hmm. to do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That you, you know, you taught the officers how to do it. But I mean, I'm not hate on either side, but I think we always had that. You know yeah. what I mean? You yeah. just want to push it more to the upfront because it's savage living here, it's mm -hmm. bando living now, yeah. and there's a lot of people doing different things. Yeah. And they just label that trap music mm -hmm. because women like it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The word trap music really came from girls saying that you were the tough cool guy right, yeah right, right. Oh, wow. you know you're the guy that I'm interested in that you know gonna hustle I don't want the McDonald guy I want mm -hmm. the trap guy you yeah know? and it became a style so actually now for me the trap girls are the ladies who have the uh, the nurse the nurse suits on <laughs> 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 the, the men do, right, yeah, right. in the hospital so right. they trapping so Nabs, really quickly how is this festival going to be different from previous years and then Jay you can answer that as well mm -hmm. well you know I've been following Jay since uh, he's been a club promoter yes and, and event promoter and I'm gonna say it again so I've said it before <laughs> that Jay is my favorite promoter yes. and he always has been and uh, when he created one music fest for him to take something eclectic like that and grow it yes. and that would be in two days Crazy. and then he allows me to put together mm -hmm. a set with my brothers mm -hmm. you know Eastside Boys, Youngbloods, mm -hmm. Aquilo of course, mm -hmm. uh, Trillville, um, uh, Eastside Boys mm -hmm. um, is a big, big deal, yeah. and we plan on owning the stage. Yeah. So oh, just know that. Right. That's gonna be my favorite. When we part. shut it down. <laughs> we hope that those that come after, I'm scared. Yeah. Would, there'll be something I'm left. I'm scared of the people that's gonna come after. Jay, yeah. really quickly, how is this year different? Uh, well, I mean, one, we, we're, we're moving to a new location, mm -hmm. so we're in Central Park, so we're, we're literally in the heart of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people ask about parking. Just anywhere you would park by to go to the Fox Theater, you can literally park and walk okay. to Central Park. Good. Uh, but we, uh, we insist on Uber mm -hmm. uh, or Lyft. Mm -hmm. um, it's two days, two full days. Um, I mean, where can you really find right. a crunk set? <laughs> Two right. chains, Nas, right. uh, uh, George Clinton, and Parliament. Oh, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, uh, Miguel, like <laughs> yes. it's a. So that's what it's about. It's yeah. kind of con connecting different artists with different fan bases, mm -hmm. and 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 really kind of programming a festival the way we, we listen to music. I love it, man. You know, I'm extra proud of each and every one of you, and I'm really excited about it. Make sure you get your tickets, okay. because I got mine. I literally bought mine, me and my husband. So you do the same thing. If still tickets are still available, available please visit OneMusicFest.com. The turn up will commence on September 8th and 9th. And up next, we'll keep it crunk with two rap groups that has that ATL rooted sound, East Side Boys and Trillville. What it is, y'all! <laughs> <laughs>